we need all of the businesses in this area, the state, the country, um, to operate at 100%. Limiting any business, uh, it, it, the model just does not work. Landlords are gonna suffer, banks are gonna suffer, employees are gonna suffer, the owners are gonna suffer. It's a, it's a, it's a big circle that if a piece breaks off, it's gonna affect everyone. And right now, because there's no real direction on what's gonna happen, you know, everybody's kind of rushing around trying to see what we can get and what we can do, and it's, it's challenging. Um, waiting for a what if is a dangerous proposition, quite frankly. You don't know. You can't solve a problem until you can define what the problem is. And you cannot expect people to take loan loans, pile new debt on top of that, pile more debt on top of that. So when you're taking out debt through all these programs, th what they're not realizing is we're not taking on debt to grow our business, we're taking on debt to sustain it and pay the liabilities that we currently have. Because limited, if the government enforces limitations on you to do business, there's just no way your, your, your budget and your business model is gonna function properly. We just need to trust that the business owners, the employees, and the customers are gonna find the balance that we need to keep everybody safe. We progress cautiously. We caution, we, we do the common sense things. If you come into contact with somebody, you wash your hands, you sanitize your hands. Uh, if you feel comfortable wearing a mask, you wear a mask. If you don't feel comfortable coming in, you don't go. It's all in what the individual decides to do. And I know as most smart entrepreneurs and restaurateurs and that they, they have to take care of their customers the customers aren't happy the employees are not going to have work the business owner is not going to have a business look the team is not a political party the team is the country uh, we all can have an opinion about everything and in the grand scheme of things our opinions really don't matter but what the common goal is, is that we all want every individual in this country to succeed. You cannot put limitations on success. So if we can plan a two week commitment and say, this is what we're gonna do, we're reopening 100%. You, you structure everything where we have employees ready to go, you have distributors ready to go, you have owners ready to go, um, the reopening, if it's not organized, and if it's not soon, uh, bankruptcy laws are in place for one reason. And, you know, chapter 11, or worse, chapter 7, if you got to liquidate, it, it's not a good thing. The restaurant industry, you know, we've had expectation of 20 to 30 percent uh, not opening up. And we're not talking about bad business models we're talking about shut down because of this as long as our uh, small businesses can operate in a safe manner then we need to allow them to do so and government should not be just blindly shutting them down every business operates just slightly different and they can come up with a personalized way of opening their business in a safe manner so we can get this economy going